So we're going to be talking about bioaccumulation. Now to start with, we're going to need to draw ourselves a food chain. So I'm going to start with a simple land food chain. At the bottom of our food chain, we are going to have a plant. This could be some grass or something like that. I'm going to give mine a little flower. So that is my uh, plant at the bottom. We call that the producer because it produces the food. In this case, using the energy from sunlight. Now, that is eaten by what we call consumers. And I'm going to draw in a little consumer. There we go. There's my little consumer. It's a snail, obviously. And I'm going to draw in the next couple of steps of the food chain as well. So I'm going to draw myself a little bird. And finally, I'm going to finish off with, let's say, a cat. So, we've got three consumers, the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary. These eat each other. So this one is eaten by this one, this one is eaten by that one. Now, the problem arises when we get something toxic building up. So let's say we've got a little bit of toxic material here, and we're going to call that a trace, because that means a little bit. Trace of toxic material. When the snails eat that, they are concentrating or accumulating that toxin in their bodies because they eat an awful lot of this and it concentrates the toxins in their body. So we start to get more toxic materials. And again, the same happens. The birds come along and they eat the snails. And because they're eating the snails, they're building up the toxins in their body as well, which are more concentrated in the snail than it is in the flower down here. So suddenly we have quite a lot of, quite a lot of toxic material. And finally, it happens once again. The cats come along, they eat the birds, and you end up with even more toxic material. So you end up with large amounts. And you'll notice it's accumulating as you go up. We call it bioaccumulation. Bio meaning living and to accumulate to build up. So if I was to draw it with a little arrow showing how much there is, we might start off with a little arrow down here and it might get bigger as we go up until we end up with a very large arrow. So it looks something a little bit like that in the levels. This is why it's so dangerous for the top predators in the food chain, because the toxins build up and it kills them. 